emails or uh, there was no Gmail back then. Okay. So AOL and they were pretty dicey. So it's right there in the contacts. So blown away by that. I know. So blown shocking. away was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy does stuff like that. Only not on his phone, but he'll name folders on his computer just to throw people off. Like, definitely nothing bad in here. Oh, see, that's a, uh, it's a click. That's a surefire click. Yeah. Right, absolutely. I absolutely. You go in there and it's just pictures of his cat. Oh, so it is nothing bad. <laughs> like an actual yeah. cat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> it's Connie and Curtis on Channel 95. <laughs> really? Still? Yeah. You guys are so immature. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny <laughs> stuff right there. Pictures of his cat. Oh, boy. And Andrew's mm. here today. Hey, Andrew. Three boys and me. Hello. Every time you're around, Andrew, it's naughty in here. Well, I don't know what to say. I know. Yeah. It's you. Yeah, I think it's, it's him. you. It's totally him. I could start us off on a very disgusting, naughty foot. I oh. uh, sat down today. Okay. Uh, I have a little section here in the studio where I sit. I have a computer. A little Curtis area. I have a little countertop where I sit, and I have, like, some papers and things. And I noticed something on the counter, and I went to take it oh, off with my finger. Oh, come on. Totally someone's oh. booger. Yeah. I touched a booger. What? Big one. So then... I leave. I excuse myself, and I go to the bathroom to go wash my hands. I'm a little disgusted by it, and I walk into a destroyed, <laughs> backed-up toilet bathroom. Is it? I had to plunge for one of our co-workers. Oh, my gosh. And that... then wash my booger hand <laughs> to start my day today. I plunged. Welcome to the studio. For a co-worker. Oh. And then I washed the booger off of my hand. That's how my day began today. <laughs> how has yours been? Mine has been great. Oh. I, 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 yeah. No boogers, no backed up toilets. I didn't know if it was a booger or not. I thought it was like that stuff that's on a magazine. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, what? Oh. And then it like just went all, like I stretched it and spread the whole thing. And I was like, that, that is disgusting. That is a booger. That's what like eight year olds do. And no one should be in my area. No, nobody should be my in My area, area is in a cordoned off little section. It's sacrosanct. Where people are afraid to come into my area. Yeah. You know, your area, that's where people will do their business. Everybody's in my area. They do your, their work in your area. Yeah. My area, no, not so much. No, your area should never be touched. So then, <laughs> mine a, is touched every day. Then there's a booger in my area, and I have to That's disgusting. wash my hands. But Ugh. before I can wash my hands, I'm greeted by filth and stench, and I plunged. And I can pretty much guarantee you that whoever stunk up the bathroom yeah. didn't even wash their hands. Oh. We have a lot of coworkers who don't wash their hands. Do we? It's disgusting. Yes. Well, I'm washed, keeping a tally. I washed mine because I had booger on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the bathroom just to wash my hand. That's gross. That was it. I know. And who's then, over there? Nick, do you know who sits on in Curtis's area? Wait, put a booger on my hand. Yeah, spot. I don't I don't know why anyone would be in your area. No. There's no other shows that have multiple people on. No. Yeah. My so, area should be clean. Maybe somebody had a meeting in here. I mean, this is a good little meeting room if you it's silent. So you're picking your nose in a meeting? <laughs> How, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of who would be in here. Okay. Do you yeah. got any people that don't like you? No, well, I, don't, I don't think it was left. The list is long. Oh, I don't yeah. think it was left as like a uh, like a Here's warning. Here's a booger, Curtis, you jerk. Yeah, it was off like in the corner. A warning? <laughs> yeah. like a, it's yeah. more where this came from. <laughs> exactly. Watch yourself. Uh, the boogers are on little sticks all around. Turn uh, away. Like yeah, yeah, like Vlad the Impaler. No, Do you uh, feel like you need to go home and take another shower and start over? No, because I washed my hand, uh, but my hand does feel dirty still. Yes. <laughs> I did spray the area. No, yes. Make your mind. All morning long. <laughs> yeah. Everything I've asked. Him, he's gone. Yes, but no, no, but yes. I don't know. But wait, no, I did it. But wait, no, I did it. Okay. But wait, I knew he did it. But My no, he did it. My brain is fried because of the booger and the plunging <laughs> that started my day today. Get yeah. little particles on you. I got booger particles all That's over disgusting. me. Disgusting. I could go wash my hand again, and in fact, I'm going to. Did you wash both of them or just one? <laughs> <laughs> I washed both of them. Okay, good. But well, it was why do you keep saying I washed my hand? <laughs> well, the booger hand. The other hand just got washed because it happened to be there, and it's the one that does <laughs> the. <laughs> Does the washing? It's under your fingernail. Uh, luckily, it was just on the pad of the finger. Okay. I just gave it one of it's these. It's like the salt. I had salt under my fingernail yesterday. Again? Yeah. Oh. Came right out though because I got it. I could feel it going Good. in. You knew. 
You knew what the deal was. I McDonald's have French fries. I stuck my hand in the bag. Since we have talked about salt under under nails. <laughs> you tried to get some in there? Why? Yes, because I want to experience this. And then remember I was going to grow Stupid. my nails out? Yes. Well, I have uh, cut all my nails. <laughs> I forgot. No kidding. I forgot. I couldn't do it. Look like a drug dealer with your nails all <laughs> <laughs> or a pretty princess is what I was going for. Not yeah. a drug dealer. <laughs> you know? No. That w- is that what that would be? Or like a vampire. I think drug dealer when I see long nails. You I don't a, know why. You see a guy with just one super long like a coke pinky. nail. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> what's this guy doing? And he's like, what? I bet Nothing. you're a good citizen. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be on the up and up. Yeah, my nails are uh, pretty What low. other reason would there be for a guy to have long fingernails? Yeah, I don't know. If he's maybe a, a, a transvestite. Oh, guitar. Uh, Ooh, transvestite. Maybe yeah. he uh, is not a transvestite, but he's a uh, he dresses up like ladies for shows. Mm-hmm. He could do that. A drag queen. A drag queen is mm-hmm. the word I was looking for. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Guitar. Like would the, they have press like on that, nails for that now? Like that Esteban guy. He has super long weird Gloria? nails. Gloria. Gloria Esteban. No, <laughs> Esteban is the guy who sells his guitars on QVC, and he's awesome. How do you know that? You don't even have cable. No, but I used to. <laughs> He used to have QVC, and I would watch Esteban play the guitar. Is Esteban a drug dealer? No, he's, well, maybe. See, you don't uh, know. He probably does drugs. I don't know that he's a dealer. He probably <laughs> but, does drugs. But he definitely, like, is a guitar virtuoso. He's good. Uh, oh, okay. And he sells a guitar. 50 bucks you can buy this Esteban guitar. And a lesson and a DVD. And his name is Esteban? Yeah. And the guitar is called an Esteban guitar? Yes, because his name is Esteban, <laughs> and then it's his guitar. Do, do like people in the music world know him? No, I don't believe so. Because I wouldn't so. buy an Esteban guitar because I have never heard of him. I think people on QVC know him. Oh. I think he's like a, uh, a knockoff of a real musician, <laughs> but he's very good. He's very good. He can play anything. A knockoff. Nick and Andrew, have you guys ever heard of Esteban, the guitar player? No. Nope. No. Andrew, you know Esteban? No, I'm not old enough to watch QVC. Oh. Wow. Yeah, and he hasn't had cable for like two years, so that means he was watching QVC at least three years ago. There's nothing better <laughs> than watching QVC. I would be sitting home with uh, my daughters. Katie worked on the weekends, mm-hmm. so I was home on the weekends, and uh, we're looking for things to do. Uh, you can't really watch looking a show. Looking for things to do. You can't really watch a show when you got so, three little kids in your right. house because they're so loud and they ruin everything. <laughs> so you throw QVC on, and you learn so many things. You know they make uh, shawls that also are full sweaters. These things are great. Great or dresses that zip and do weird things. So many awesome things I, on QBC. In the last couple of weeks, well, I haven't done it in about a week or two, but before Thanksgiving, I would say, every now and again when I wanted some quiet time, I would turn on QBC. See? I don't know why, because I've never bought anything from QBC. I bought two things. On but it's but it's interesting to me to watch the chicks who sell all the stuff. <laughs> yes. They are interesting Or to that me. guy uh, in the kitchen with, uh, uh, with Steven. The last thing that I saw was a heated oh. massage. Yeah, keep, keep it coming. <laughs> thingy that you put on your chair. It was like a pillow. Okay, the old heated massage thingy for your chair. Yeah. 40 bucks. And they all they did was sit there for, I don't know, what is it, 20 minutes? Yeah. And moan. That's all they did was yeah. moan for 20 minutes. Well, and I, I just sat that. there and watched them and was like, this is the weirdest thing <laughs> yeah. I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Why am I watching these two ladies moan? And then they have this. That's how you know it's good. Yeah. He's playing in the background. Oh, <laughs> and then you can put it on your feet. Oh. oh. Weird. Esteban now, hasn't had an album since 2006. I didn't even know that he had an album. He has a billion albums. To be honest, is his mom Gloria Esteban? Uh, no. <laughs> is his name Esteban? Esteban. <laughs> you know, Esteban is is his name. It's it, Spanish for Stephen. You're thinking of Estefan, which is uh, yep, Gloria. Stephen Paul. Oh, Estefan. So he had albums. Yeah, he had like 20 albums between 95 and 2006. Yeah, that's about my uh, QVC wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does he do now? Uh, I don't know. He, he sells just, guitars. Just on QVC, probably. Yeah. Maybe he I, isn't on. Maybe he's dead. Doesn't everybody sell out when they're on QVC? Yes. Seems like every time I've ever watched, they're like, only one left. <laughs> yeah. Most of these albums sound like they're sellouts anyways. They're just, yeah, passion, heart of gold. What like, do you mean, sellouts? They're just, they're just silly. Like they just because you don't like the music. Yeah, no, I think have, I would like his guitar playing. You have no passion. Well, he's got great nails. Yeah, he's got great nails. He does have great nails. Or they'll always say to you, like uh, father and daughter. If you want back to back. If you want pink, it's gonna sell out here. We got one pink left. 
plenty of black. You can get a lot of, if you want orange, and you're like, well, who wants an orange kitchen stand mixer? <laughs> <laughs> Flame uh, on Blanco uh, and Romance Volume 1. Oh, I would listen to that. All right. I would listen to that, too. You should buy Romance Volume 1. Holiday Trilogy? What does that mean? The Three Holidays. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Are you not following along? Nick. Yeah, Nick. Come on, you start with Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, and then New Year's Eve. The Three Holidays. They're right there in a row. Yeah. There's enough songs to make up a whole CD? Yeah. Three Holidays? Well, yeah, if there's, there's one for Christmas. They have a whole radio station down the hall. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no, They've been putting Christmas I'm picturing a, a three-disc you know, set. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do more research into this, and then one's just Christmas, and the other two are New Year's, and and then and there's only one song for New Year's, right? Yeah, yeah. that's that uh, should old acquaintance be forgotten. And then you know, yeah. there's, you could do a cover of John Lennon's uh, "So This Is Christmas." The year's over. Because there aren't 47 of those already. No, yeah. but Stefan would do a great job. Yeah, he would do Esteban. a great job. <laughs> like he has Stefan. any quabbles with doing that. that. I think SNL when you say <laughs> Stefan. <laughs> I bet he has long nails. Oh, Stefan. But yeah, he's a drug dealer or doer. I don't know. Probably yeah, a dealer. He is. That is hilarious. Probably a little dealer, too. I was really sad when I pulled in today. I was listening to 100.5 The River. Grand Rapids Christmas Station. Um, And Brian Adams was starting. Run, we Rudolph. waited all through the year. I haven't heard that one. You have to. <laughs> How does it go? Keep it coming. No. Is it Run, Rudolph, Run? No. That's the only Brian Something Adams. Something about Christmas time. That's Brian Adams? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. I'm going to add it to my Christmas playlist. It was starting, and I was parking, and I was so annoyed. Why didn't you stay in the car? I'll do that sometimes. If I'm listening to a song, I'll remain in the car. Because I needed to get in here and do something. Yeah, did go to the bathroom? No. <laughs> you were holding yeah, it. Yeah, that was me that <laughs> ruined the bathroom. You, you destroyed our bathroom? <laughs> well, I plunged for you. You're welcome very much. All right, here's Brian Adams. Wait, something I can't find about it. a Christmas Hold song. On. You're very good at this. I can't find You're it. You're very good. I can't find well, it. We have so many Brian Adams songs. We do. How many? Uh, oh, I found it. Okay. Hold, please. Okay, so this is what you heard getting... We waited all Yeah, I would have... Seek. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Yeah. Goodbye. Let's see what's on... Thank you, 100.5 <laughs> The River. Let's see what's uh, up one. Boo. Oh, seriously. Can't find it. Do you guys hate... I'm playing it, Nick. No, I want it for my Christmas playlist. Oh, now. you like it? Yeah. Ha! See, Curtis? Whatever. Nick, you have good taste in music. Yeah. Thank you. I know I do. He's never yeah. heard of Stefan or Esteban or whatever his name is. All right, turn it up. <laughs> I feel like it's coming, right? Something about... Tell me you know this song. Uh, when you say that about Christmas time, yeah. I think I've heard that one time in like some uh, Folgers coffee commercial. From back in the day. They... Something about Christmas time. Something about Christmas time. Uh, makes you wish it was Christmas every day. Do you know it? See <laughs> the joy yeah. and the Nothing children's about Christmas time. Makes you the way Christmas that the day. old folks smile says that Christmas never goes away. Wait, it kicks in right here. It's a choir old choir. <laughs> a choir old choir. I missed it this morning. I think it's called stupid work. This Christmas called, time. Oh, it's called Christmas time. Okay. Usually kicking in is when it gets fast and good. This is not kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> this is as fast and good as it gets. This is like the, the uh, breakdown. Breakdown. Man. I feel like you should not be making fun of Christmas music. I feel like the drummer is playing too loud in this song. Like he needs to leave the room. Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Got a Hanson version of the same song. Hanson. <laughs> now that would be good. That would, uh, I would like that. That might be fun. I, I might give that a listen later on. Yeah. Andrew, do you like the song? Oh wait, hold on. Don't answer yet. Andrew's too young. Answer to like in like song. 30 seconds. Something about Christmas time. Okay, go ahead. Answer. Makes me want to go to bed. Makes me sleepy. You make me sleepy. <laughs> Good, come back. You nailed that <laughs> Thank one. You. That awesome. Thank you. I totally that did. Awesome. All right. I won't make you listen anymore. Okay, thanks. I'm going to leave it uh, there though, so I can listen to it when we go to commercial. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I would like to hear the Hanson version. 
Uh, All right, Nick, get the Hanson version. I, All think, right. I think that one would maybe do That me... one would not make me think twice about getting well, out of my car. It might not even be the same song. It's just a song called Christmas Time. Oh, I'm yeah. sure it's the same song. Seriously, there are only they eight wrote Christmas Mbop. songs. They're probably not writing like brand new Christmas songs. Whoa. Whoa. Umbop was revolutionary. Umbop. <laughs> Gina saw them three times in concert. Yeah, I loved Hanson. And Umbop, I used to play on repeat, so I can't Everybody really loved Hanson. Yeah. Remember that summer? You'd just be driving and every car had Umbop. Do-dee-dee. It was like, it's like that uh, 